Hi! For today, we are going to learn about physical fitness. So, what is physical fitness? Of course, I know that you encountered this in your elementary days or even in your other uh, PE subjects already. Uh, that's why we, ha we are going to explain further about this or we are going to learn more about what is a physical fitness or we're going to explain it more clear or we're going to learn about this because this is the very basic of physical education okay so in every physical education classes you have you have to be aware or you need to learn about this basic information like physical fitness so what is physical fitness physical fitness this is the body's ability to function effectively and efficiently without undue fatigue with work leisure activities to meet emergency situations and to resist diseases from sedentary lifestyle okay so it means you're being physically fit that is the ability of your body okay how much your body can exert an effort to do a certain activity you need to perform within a day like you have uh, still a spare time to perform leisure activities okay so what is a leisure activities these leisure activities are the amount of time left after all the daily routine activities are accomplished it is an unobligated times and also recreations this recreation are the activities such as sports okay academic games and other productive hobbies so recreations are like your hobbies or um, playing sports playing badminton a team sports maybe or um, even uh, mountain climbing is also a recreation something you enjoy to do a physically fit person if you can perform certain activities without what do you call that again fatigue without fatigue okay you can perform well and you can still do leisure activities and you can also do recreation okay so that's the first information and you need to really understand about physical fitness next okay physical fitness this has two components take note of that under as you can see here uh, physical fitness and you have two components and those are your health related fitness and your skill related fitness okay uh, first let's talk about what is health related one okay health related fitness these are uh, to improve individuals health okay so this is what we're going to do to measure if um, you have a good health in terms of your own um, body system okay in terms of your own body okay it deals with your own capacity the own capacity of your body take note health related fitness your individual health okay we are aware that each of us are unique we have different kinds of bodies we have a uh, unique uh, ways of performing activities that's why um, we have a health related strand or health related components in physical fitness so your muscular strength is one example in measuring your health related fitness okay first your muscular strength is defined as the maximum pull or push that can be exerted one time by a muscle group okay for example you perform a certain activity and you give your very best using your muscle to perform that activity that is considered considered as muscular strength so what are the example activities when we are measuring a muscular strength that is a push up or a pull up right as you can see in our definition a while ago pull or push right so that is a muscular strength i hope you understand that okay there are underlined words here that you need to take note and you need to be aware of in order for you to understand well the uh, terms we are discussing next cardiovascular endurance this cardiovascular endurance is the ability of your lungs okay take note of the terms 
Cardiovascular is the ability of your lungs, your heart, and blood vessels to deliver adequate amount of oxygen to the cells to meet the demands of prolonged physical activity. In order for you to perform a prolonged physical activity, you should have a good cardiovascular endurance. So when we say cardiovascular endurance, take note of the word lungs, heart, and blood vessels. And of course, since we have the word endurance, that will deal of a time. Okay, how long can you perform well? How long can your cardiovascular system perform as you do a certain activity? So first, a while ago, we have muscular strength, we have cardiovascular endurance, and now we also have flexibility. So what do we call a flexibility? Flexibility is the ability of the muscles and joints to go through a full range of motion. Okay, as you can see in the picture, that is an example of flexibility. In measuring your flexibility, okay, you have to do an activity like a zipper test and a sit and reach. Okay, the now body composition. This is also uh, very important to be aware of your body composition. So, in terms of your body composition, this refers to the proportion of lean body mass and the fat body mass. Okay, you need to be. Uh, aware of your own body composition that's why the example for this if you're going to be aware or you need to know about your body composition we're going to learn how to solve your BMI right so um, here what is a BMI first okay BMI is your body mass index okay in solving your body mass index we have here the have a formula for that Okay. In solving your body mass index, for example, we have here um, a person or let's say a particular person has 59 kilograms and um, his or her height in meters or 1.6 meters. 59 kilograms over 1.6 meters squared, 59, okay, 2.56. Okay. We're going to divide that and the answer is 23 kilograms per meter squared. So, how are we going to know if the classification is normal, overweight, obesity, or obesity 1, and extreme obesity? Okay, how can we know this? We need to refer to that table presented. Okay, so you need to solve your BMI and you need to know the classification based on the result of your solving. Okay, very good. Now, we are going to during your muscular endurance. A muscular endurance is the ability of the muscle to exert maximal effort in a brief duration. Take note of the word duration because we're dealing with the endurance. How long can your muscle perform within that activity? Okay, the example activity for muscle, muscular endurance is planking. Okay, that's it. So, we are done with health-related fitness. We have muscular strength, muscular endurance, cardiovascular endurance, flexibility, and body composition. Now, let's proceed to skill-related one, the skill-related fitness. The skill-related fitness, it is, the import, it is very important for success in skills. Take note, in skillful activities and athletic skills, okay? If you are an athletic person, if you're an athletic person or a sporty person, you need to really improve your skill-related fitness. Okay, the first one we have speed. Okay, this is the ability to perform a task or move from one point to another with a short possible time. So it means that you can perform a certain activity fast. Okay, that is speed from one point to another, like running like that. Okay, like a 40 meter sprint right so next we have agility when when we talk about speed you are just going from one point to another right one point to another but when we say agility this one deals with a direction you also 
uh, you are also doing it fast but then you have changes in direction because agility is to quickly shift or change direction of the body from one point to another you are also doing it fast but then you are quickly changing a direction so the example activity for um, ad measuring your agility is your hexagon agility test okay power this one is in the other skill where in a person do a maximum effort in the shortest possible time it's the product of both strength and speed okay when you combine the strength and the speed that is your power okay wherein you are doing it <clears throat> um in a maximum effort in the shortest possible time so you're doing it once for example you are jumping right it's a long jump so that is also a example of power because you're combining your strength and speed balance is the ability to stay in equilibrium in relation to changes in body position okay we have this two static balance and we also have dynamic balance your static one is demonstrated in stationary position it means you're not moving while your dynamic balance this is uh, you're measuring this um, demonstrated while the body is moving okay so reaction time reaction time is the amount of time it takes to respond to a stimulus so how long can you respond or your response to a stimulus okay that is your reaction reaction time so you can measure your uh, reaction time through an activity called the stick drop test okay so th that is an example of measuring your reaction time so when we say coordination this one this is the integration with your hand uh, or your foot movements with the senses the integration with your hand or foot and with your senses it but then there, your senses are also uh, being used with the help of your hands and your feet right so the example for measuring your coordination is uh, juggling we're gonna uh, like when you're juggling so that is uh, paper juggling or the stick flip okay stick flip is an example activity to measure your coordination skills okay let's review so your health related fitness are muscular strength muscular endurance cardiovascular endurance flexibility body composition but when we say skill related fitness that is your speed your agility your power your balance your action time and core Donation. So you need to be aware about these things and always take note of their um, keywords in order for you to understand these terms in physical education. So thank you so much for listening for today. I hope you've taken down notes and you've learned something from our discussion and hope to see you again in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'm very happy to talk with you. If you have questions, just drop it down below and I am very happy to communicate with you all. I am very happy to uh, discuss to you about physical education topic, okay? That is our topic for today about physical fitness. Thank you so much for listening. God bless.